If you're studying for the INBDE, I highly recommend INBDE Bootcamp, an all-in-one study resource that will help you pass your exam. Use coupon code MENTALDENTAL for 10% off. Hey everyone, Dr. Ryan here and welcome to Mental Dental. I published a video last week on how the INBDE is getting more difficult. And this includes both the overall question difficulty as well as how many questions that you need to get correct. The good news though, is that the overall equation for success remains the same. I posted on my Instagram page a bunch of people who passed the INBDE despite the difficulty increase. And I'm extremely proud of all of those people. But the equation is this, that my resources plus your hard work equals passing the exam. It really is that simple, but just because it's simple doesn't mean it's easy, right? It's called hard work for a reason. Now, the even better news is that I have a brand new course releasing on my website exclusively, mentaldental.com, in just a few weeks, so keep your eyes peeled for that announcement. Speaking of hard work, I've been working really, really hard on this, and frankly, it's going to be the best thing that I've ever made. It's basically a capstone of all of the work I've done over the last several years. So stay tuned and stay hyped for that brand new course. But I've gotten a lot of messages recently from people who are disappointed about the increased performance standards or upset that they've failed this newer, harder version of the INBDE. So what now? Well, I wanna to talk to all of you who have failed the exam or are fearful of failing this exam. Tip number one is to take time for self-reflection. Understand why you might not feel confident or why you might be struggling right now. Is it due to content gaps? Like you're getting lots of practice questions about topics that you've never heard of before, things that you haven't studied yet? Is it due to a test anxiety, time management, or a lack of preparation strategies or discipline? Reflect on the areas where you feel most challenged and focus your study plan on those specific topics. Tip number two is to focus on the high yield topics. So the INBDE covers a wide range of dental and medical information. So make sure you know the high yield topics, the things that are guaranteed to show up on test day, particularly those that you're struggling with. So usually these are pharmacology, oral pathology, and ethics to name a few. I'll leave a link right up here to a video that I made recently on the most important topics to know for your board exam. Tip number three is to practice test taking strategies. Now, this is a step that many people forget about due to time constraints, like their exam is coming up soon. So they're thinking, well, I, I can't spend time on this. I can't afford to spend time practicing how to take a test. Well, I'm gonna flip that around and say, you can't afford not to spend time on this step. Practice timing yourself, doing questions and simulated exams. Learn how to work and think under pressure. Practice pacing yourself so you don't rush or spend too much time on any one question. And analyze your incorrect answers. This is so important to carefully understand what your weaknesses are, not just in the topics, but the types of questions. Do you consistently get confused with questions that ask each of the following except? Or do you get the case questions wrong more often than the standalone questions? Do you know the difference between case questions and standalone questions? Your time will be very well spent focusing on improving your test taking ability. Number four is to consider your emotional and physical well being. Failing an exam can be emotionally tough, and it's important to manage your stress, get enough sleep, exercise, and maintain a balanced lifestyle during your preparation period. If test anxiety is a major issue, try relaxation techniques like meditation or breathing exercises before the exam. Tip number five is to seek support and resources. Reach out to your mentors, professors, 
or peers who have successfully passed the exam and ask them for advice. Ask them what worked for you and consider joining online communities like my Patreon page or my Discord server where other dental students and international dental graduates can share their tips and experiences with you. Tip number six is to change your study approach. You may have heard it said that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So if your study strategy didn't work the first time, consider changing it. You could use multiple resources, but at the same time, don't overwhelm yourself with too many resources, so much stuff that you don't have enough time to get through it all. I'd much rather you pick a few high quality, top-notch resources and use 100% of what they have to offer rather than buying 10 different platforms and then just using only 10% the surface level of what each of those has to offer. So I would encourage you to invest in a structured prep course specifically for the INBDE that will guide you with a curriculum tailored to the exam. And again, my new course coming soon to mentaldental.com will do exactly this. And finally, tip number seven is don't give up. So many candidates face setbacks along the way, but perseverance is going to be key. You've already gone through the rigors of dental school, so I know you have what it takes to succeed and pass this exam with the right approach. By addressing these challenges holistically through better preparation, test-taking strategies, and also self-care, you can increase your chances of passing the INBDE. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was encouraging and uplifting as we all face this new challenging INBDE together. If you did enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like and leaving an encouraging comment for someone else. Also, consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already. We just recently hit 300,000, which is an awesome milestone. And thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. But until next time, keep working hard, keep studying, make sure you take care of yourself. I'm here for you, I'm rooting for you. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video.